As we prepare for the Memorial Day holiday weekend, we want to reflect on the sacrifices made by our service members. A one-of-a-kind memorial to veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan will be dedicated today in Boston. Joining us now is the group behind the memorial, Dan Magoon, Executive Director of Massachusetts Fallen Heroes, and Erin Vassellian, a Gold Star wife. Thank you to both of you for being here, and happy Memorial Day weekend to both of you. Thank Good morning. You. Thank you for having us. Erin, uh, could I first start with you and, and what this day and uh, what this dedication means to you and your family? Yeah, um, it's been highly anticipated from me and all the other Gold Star families, um, especially right around Memorial Day. Um, you know, this day and this whole weekend and every day is meant to honor our loved ones who paid the ultimate sacrifice. So uh, what you see behind me, this memorial really represents um, that sacrifice that they made for us. So it's really important for others to be able to come here and reflect on um, the great sacrifice that they made for us. Including your husband. Uh, he was a squad leader with Bravo Company. Uh, 1st Battalion, 9th Marines, earned the Medal of Courage under fire in late 2013. Uh, this was particularly during a uh, Helleborn raid mission known as Operation Nightmare 3. Aaron, your husband was a brave man. We're so thankful for his service and for your family. And Dan, that structure that is behind you that Aaron alluded to, tell us about it. It's interactive. How does it work? You know, it's, it's taken us a long time to get it uh, finally built. You know, in 2010, we started the organization with a simple mission, and that was to honor our, our, our brothers and sisters that, that didn't make it home. Uh, a bunch of combat veterans that came together in this community uh, really wanted to do something special for not only their memories and their legacy, but also more importantly for the families. So we have a five-sided 50-foot obelisk that was designed by James Carpenter. It was built uh, by a company right here, Tri-Pyramid in Massachusetts. And that obelisk and that five sides represents our five branches and obviously the names that, that represent our fallen heroes uh, sit in it in a reflective uh, pool basically a beacon of life and a beacon of honor for the men and women that we have lost since 9-11. So the memorial is called Massachusetts Beacon of Honor. Uh, if you want to keep track of the day and the events there in Boston, uh, the hashtag MA Beacon of Honor is being used on Twitter. Uh, it, it, the dedication is uh, happening at 11 o'clock this morning, Dan, right? Yes, ma'am, that's correct. All right, and Aaron, just you know, words can never do it, but thank you so much to you and to your husband and to your family uh, for your service to this great country. Thank you. Good thank to you. have both of you this morning.